And now to a man who's not afraid to tell you what you need to do to keep the planet he lives on clean. Take your food scraps out to your compost pile. Screw in a compact fluorescent light bulb. Turn on a window fan instead of an air conditioner. Low flow, baby. Shower heads and toilets. Take one napkin at Starbucks instead of six. Mike Novak. Welcome to another installment of the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener Environmental Report. I'm Mike Novak, and you can hear me live each Sunday morning from 9 to 11 a.m. Central Time on Q4 Radio, which streams at q4.org, and on my own Facebook page, The Mike Novak Show. You can also get my podcasts at mikenovak.net. Well, this is my final report for 2016. So, first of all, I want to thank Holly and Joey Baird for asking me to present these bits of environmental uh, wisdom. I love what they're doing with the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. Their message is pretty clear. Grow your own food. Now, if you listen to these podcasts regularly, you're obviously not the kind of people who think that growing edibles is some kind of fad. Good for you. I have a saying, good gardeners are good environmentalists. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that whether you're growing eggplant or echinacea or even uh, lawns, You think about the kind of fertilizers you use. You think about how you treat insects and diseases. You think about the biology of the soil. The biology of the soil. Who thinks about that? Well, if you're a good gardener, you do. You're smart. You do your homework. You read and follow label directions regardless of the product you're using. Most of all, you let mom nature do as much as she can for your garden. You don't bag leaves and let the city throw them into a landfill. You leave them on your garden beds. If you don't eat all of the vegetables you grow or buy, you compost them along with your yard waste. And then you take that wonderful compost and you put it right back into your soil to create even more productive biology. And even if you like your uh, lawn, you do that right by ignoring the brainwashing on TV from the big fertilizer companies. You know who I'm talking about. And you feed your turf by simply leaving the grass clippings where you cut them. That's what I mean when I say that good gardeners are good environmentalists. I sure hope you're one of those people. Stay thirsty for knowledge, my friends. Go green or go home.